In our calculus class so far, some of the applications have involved sheep trapped inside fences and ladders leaning up against buildings. Well, here's a scene that combines all these things. I've got a sheep, I've got a fence, I've got a ladder. Here's a really tall barn. Here's the sun shining down on the ground. Let's suppose that you're the sheep stuck behind the fence, but eager to get to the barn. The really good news is that you're not just a regular sheep. You're some sort of ninja sheep, and you've got a supply of a bunch of different ladders. The question is, what's the shortest ladder that you can use? Now, you want to pick the shortest ladder that you can get away with, which goes over the fence and touches the barn. I mean, if the ladder is too short, it won't even go over the fence. But even this longer ladder, I mean, it will get you over the fence, but this ladder is not long enough yet to get you all the way to the barn. At this point, you're probably feeling really bad. You now recognize that this is an optimization problem, but you're thinking, oh no, not again, not another optimization problem. Well, let me say a little bit more about exactly how tall the fence is and how far it is from the barn. Let's say that that fence is 6.4 meters tall, and let's say that the fence is 2.7 meters from the barn. Is something sounding familiar here? Yeah, we've seen numbers like 64 and 27 come up before. We saw them in that hallway problem, right? What did I want to do in the hallway problem? I wanted to take some stick and figure out what the, in this case, longest stick was that I could navigate through this hallway. But if you remember, the issue was finding the shortest stick, which simultaneously touched this bottom wall this wall here, and the corner. That's really the exact same problem. We just have to think about this problem in, in different terms. Instead of thinking of this as a wall, I think of this as the ground. Instead of thinking of this as a wall, I think of this as the uh, side of the barn. And I want to pass through this point. I want to touch this corner, which really just means I want to clear the fence. You know, and because this problem happened to be solved by a stick of length 125 millimeters, this problem is going to be solved by a ladder of length 12.5 meters. And here, and this drawing is actually to scale, so I can, I can really demonstrate it. You know, here I'm positioning the ladder, and yeah, this, this ladder is in fact long enough to touch the ground, the barn, and just clear the fence. We've done a ton of stuff this week, but this is perhaps the most important lesson of all. At its core, mathematics is not about just solving problems. What we've done here is realize an analogy between two seemingly different problems. Right? The problem of a stick turning a corner and a ladder clearing a fence. More than about solving problems, mathematics is really about these kinds of analogies. About being able to recognize that things that look different are really the same. People have been doing mathematics for thousands of years. There's been a ton of new mathematics developed in that time. So you might think that with all that new mathematics, that mathematics would be constantly splintering off and fracturing into different subjects. But that's not what's happened at all. This desire to analogize, to unify, to see different parts of the elephant as the same elephant, right? this tendency has really kept mathematics together. It means that mathematics doesn't appear as a bunch of separate subjects. It really appears as a unified whole.